my name is Yemi. And my name is Ijoma. And together, we'll be hosting Africa in My Kitchen, a podcast that will explore African cuisine from the lens of an experimental home cook. In each episode of the podcast, we'll explore an African dish by country and discuss our, well, actually, Ijoma's experience in replicating the dish. The podcast is released every two weeks. Also, check out 234 Pantry on Instagram. That is number 234 P A N T R Y, where I'll post pictures and links to the recipes we discussed. Let's dive right in and talk about 234 Pantry and Africa in My Kitchen. Okay. So 234 Pantry is my Instagram, well, my avenue to explore through Instagram um, my love for food and the things that interest me regarding food. Africa in My Kitchen is one of my first projects under 234 Pantry. So what inspired Africa in My Kitchen? A whole bunch of things. So first, growing up, I realized that I really liked to cook and explore um foods from different cultures i also like learning about the history of different places and the culture and how food and culture intersect and so i thought well you know i do this with other countries i don't know that much about the country the continent that i am from i'm mm-hmm. from nigeria mm-hmm. i was born and raised in nigeria um and i don't know much about food from other countries to be honest i don't know much about food from other places in nigeria that is true me yeah. Either. yeah and Finding moving to Canada and living here, I was introduced to people from other cultures mm-hmm. and other countries within yeah. Africa and outside who didn't know as much mm-hmm. about the continent. And I was thinking to myself, well, you know, I've always wanted to travel. I, I'm not able to travel as much as I'd like to, but I can explore food from That's home. That's true. That's right? true. Um, so why not try that? Because then, number one, I'm learning about food. Mm-hmm. I'm teaching people about food because I'm posting about it. I'm yeah. saying, you know what, Africa is not just a continent that has issues. We have food and we might even find that we have certain things that are in common with other continents well yeah. countries from other continents as well another thing i wanted to try was the fact that was based on the fact that you can't find let's be honest you might not be able to find all the ingredients here that's for sure like i know sometimes when you go to the market or mm. this even the african store mm-hmm. there are some things you're looking for and you actually have to like substitute exactly. because you cannot find exactly what what ingredients you'd have used if you were back say for example in nigeria Mm -hmm. and so i was like well you know this is a chance to try something maybe if i can find a substitute i can tell people well you can use this instead Mm -hmm. or maybe for the sake of because you don't have it we can just maybe not use this at all Mm -hmm. and you know we'll see how things go um so yeah so it was a chance to celebrate culture it was also a chance for me to try to test myself because I like to think of myself as a sophisticated person who likes to try everything. I may yes, not be yes. as adventurous we, we, we've as heard, I think. We, we've noticed that. Keep going. I don't understand <laughs> why, why. Why would you bring that up? Anyway, yeah. So I don't like all cuisine. Calm down. But <laughs> it was a chance for me to really challenge myself and see how adventurous I could really be. Mm-hmm. And I actually find it interesting because, as we've discussed, we all seem to think that we're adventurous. We'll eat anything. We'll mm-hmm. try. Um, but when push comes to shove and the plate <laughs> is in front of you, it's sometimes really challenging, right? Because you're like, oh, I don't know how this would feel, how this would taste, the texture, the smells. Mm-hmm. And so some of us are more picky than we like to admit. Mm-hmm. And, and, it's, and it's that. But I find like with someone like me, I can be a little bit of a, in the name of being polite and respectful, I can try something that's on my plate. But the real challenge comes when you have a variety of dishes in front of you mixed with things you're already familiar with. Yes. What do you go for? What I'm familiar with. Like, up. So that's, that's <laughs> some people will go for something different, but I realize that sometimes you tend, I tend to gravitate towards what I already know. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I thought this would be a good avenue to explore all of those things. Yeah. And for those listening, Ijeoma and I have been friends for quite a while now. And in the history of our friendship, there's a reason I'm hosting and she's the cook because uh, in the history of our friendship, through i'm going to shamelessly say that i do most of the eating Auntie and she does, does not like to I, cook. I do not like to cook so i'm going to admit it shamelessly i don't like to do the cooking but i will eat i will taste i'll be whatever you need me to experiment the dish you're making Auntie does not. <laughs> so i probably started to insult her at some point unknowingly because i would occasionally come with my own food when i was coming to that visit. was really insulting. i think i'd taken it but it's okay i don't you know what i'm not even offended because most of the time there is really no food in my house um Anyway, so let's just dive right in. So what food are we going to be talking about today? 
Today we're talking about Chachuca. The reason why we're talking about that is because I'm a little bit overly into details and analytically minded. So I went with the first country on the list. I was looking at the list alphabetically. Algeria came up. Okay. And so I looked for something like a famous dish from Algeria, and it was chachuca. So chachuca from Algeria. Okay. Yes. Hopefully I pronounced that right, guys. If I didn't pronounce it right, feel free we are to sorry. correct. We're we apologize. We're sorry. You know, just feel free to send us corrections. Um, yeah. Another thing I wanted to say is we have lived out of Nigeria for a while, but sometimes it comes out. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So if we, you know, yes. You know, just accept <laughs> us and love us the way we are. That's we would appreciate more. that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you could just describe the dish. Sure. Um. So chachuca is a, it's a chickpea dish. It's sort of like a stew. It consists of a sauce Mm -hmm. called, I think there are different dialects for this, but the one I saw, I saw people pronounce it as marga. I saw some people pronounce it as marka, M-A-R-Q-A, I believe. So there's the marka, which is the sauce, which is a tomato-based sauce with vegetables and chickpeas, notably Mm -hmm. a spice blend known as razal hanout. And it's usually meaty as well. So there's usually like a meat or a chicken or lamb in it. Oh, so it's not a vegetarian. It's not a vegetarian. Okay. I'm guessing you might be able to make a vegetarian version if you just use like vegetable stock and you don't put any meat in it. Maybe tofu, I guess. Uh, I suppose. Okay. Um, But I made mine with lamb. So there is that portion, which is the sauce. And then you have the flat bread called rugag. Mm -hmm. That's made of semolina. Oh, okay. We've talked about... The fact that sometimes you can't find what the key ingredients were. Do you have to substitute anything in there? Um, I didn't have to substitute anything per se. Not with the major ingredients. I did, uh, and that's an interesting story. Um, so the, one of the ingredients that the recipe calls for is zucchini. Mm-hmm. I promise you I know what zucchini is. <laughs> I know, I know what zucchini sure. is. Because I've, I've eaten it multiple times. Mm-hmm. I don't know what was wrong with me that day. I bought the zucchini. The zucchini, I put that in air yeah. quotes. And didn't notice until the day I brought it out. I stared at this zucchini and I was like, I'll be damned if this is not a cucumber. Oh my God, you bought a cucumber. I bought instead. a cucumber. Aww. So <laughs> I promise you, I know what zucchini is. Um, there's, they're different. They're from, I think they may come from the same family, but they're different enough that cucumber has like a different, like, you know, the taste. So I couldn't just toss it in. Mm-hmm. So I just made it without okay. the zucchini. Okay. Um, but again, one of the things I mentioned earlier that was that there's a major spice. The, one of the main spices in the dish is called Ras El Hanout. Mm -hmm. And it is made up of multiple spices. So basically, everybody has their own version of Razal Hanout. Mm -hmm. So that's where things may be a bit different from the traditional dish, depending Mm -hmm. on what your your spice blend is made of. Mine came from 12 different spices. I got it from the internet, but somebody else's might be different. And guys, we'll post the links to all the recipes we used. Ijama will post on her Instagram page and also we'll probably post it here in the show notes. Um, So how do you think it turned out? I think it was delicious. Um, mm. I know, no, um, and this is not. I'm a pretty decent cook, <laughs> but this is not me. Show off. This is not me <laughs> talking about my prowess in the kitchen. It was more the combination of dishes was very interesting. I did do a couple of things differently. I'll tell you that. So the recipe called, for instance, for lamb. Um, I found lamb to be too expensive for me. Mm-hmm. I couldn't buy lamb, but I could get um, lamb, ground beef, no, ground, ground lamb. Okay. And so what I did was instead of making, I, I just made lamb uh, meatballs. Okay. So I seasoned it a little bit with some salt, pepper, and garlic. I didn't want to do too much because I didn't want that to like overtake the sauce mm-hmm. and with a little bit of mint leaves in it mm-hmm. and made those into balls and I used that. Okay. So that was something that I did use differently. But yeah, it was it was delicious. It was savory. A little spicy by spicy i don't mean hot like peppery by spicy i mean like there's a good infusion of different spices because mm-hmm. i think in north america and i'm not sure if it's also other parts of north america spicy means hot, hot. yes but for us spicy means there's a lot of the different kinds of so there's a curry it may not necessarily be hot it's yeah just, a nice it's just flavors flavorful exactly yeah, flavorful yeah it was very yeah. flavorful um i tasted things that i wasn't used to so you have like the influence of the middle east they like and the middle east or north africa and i think east africa they use some cardamom mm-hmm. so there was some cardamom there was coriander paprika it was it was nice it wasn't a sweet dish it was mm. savory it was rich i don't know oh my to... god you're making me hungry Sorry. <laughs> It was really rich, and the bread was the flat bread was nice, easy to make. It just went really well with the sauce. I liked it. Okay, that's generally what we want to talk about. We just again, this we're just trying to introduce folks to the dishes and essentially Africa in my kitchen and all the little 
menus and items we plan to try mostly ijama and i will be her official taster she's she's giving me eyeballs apparently not anyway so we will again we'll be posting the show notes as well as the links and if you do have feedback, please reach out to us, Facebook, Instagram, just look up Africa in my kitchen or two, three, four pantry. And just a little bit of what you might call a disclaimer. Um, while I like to cook, I grew up and this may not be a good enough excuse, but I grew up in a household and possibly a culture based on my ethnicity. I, I think it's more of a Nigerian thing. I'm not sure. Or maybe an African thing. Even we don't really cook with specific recipes so there was no mm. quantity so if i ask how do i make this my aunt or my mom or my brother might say put a little bit of this a pinch of this a pinch a dash, of that, know, a dash. I, yeah Taste so it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one of the things i wanted to mention so and I, I say that deliberately because i also wanted it to be a situation where people would get to explore food their own way i didn't want it to be too clinical i say all this to say if you go to see our posts they will not have quantities on yeah i'm not giving to be clear i'm not giving a recipe um, there will be links to the recipe that I used, but the list will just have the ingredients because I can promise you, I did not really follow the ingredients to a T, like the, the quantities yeah. to a T. Yeah. Yes. For the most part, I was eyeballing, but I did a little bit of proportion looking at, looking at proportions and seeing how that would work. Yeah. But I didn't follow it to a T. So yeah. there's that. Okay. Well, thanks. That's our episode for this week. Thanks for listening, friends. As a reminder, the podcast will be hosted every two weeks. Also, don't forget to follow 234 Pantry on Instagram, where Ijema shares her amazing journey of food exploration. The Africa in My Kitchen project is hosted under the Tunuka Media umbrella. Tunuka is spelled T-U-N-U-K-A. Follow Tunuka Media on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter to connect with the both of us. Here's a fun fact for you. Tunica is a Yoruba word that is loosely translated to mean open or tender-hearted. As we grow our portfolio, we are excited to have you join us on this and other amazing projects that we have coming up. Trust me, you are going to love them. We welcome ideas for African meals, treats, and even cooking tips to feature here. So please share them with us and we'll be sure to give you a shout out. And now for the bloopers. Together, we'll be hosting Africa in My Kitchen, a podcast that explores... Uh, it's me, I miss... Hello, my name is Yemi. And my name is... <laughs> no, I was, I was so busy because you didn't look like you In each episode of the podcast, we'll explore African dish by country and discuss what our... Well, I think I messed it up, did I? I think I messed it up. I, I said... I said explore dish. African dish. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for listening, friends. As a reminder, this podcast will be... Uh, Podcast. Blech.